Hey there everyone, my name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear and here's all the Pokemon you can find in Florio Natural Park. Now this is the first level of the game, however there are still plenty of secrets hidden throughout the level. We're going to be covering both day and night as well as all three research levels in today's video. We're also going to be covering every area in the game in their own video so make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can get those sent straight to your sub box. Alright, let's go. Starting at research level 1, in the daytime, you can find Vivian, Dodrio, Pichu, Grookey, Bidoof, Wurmple, Emolga, Swana, Taylo, Magikarp, Hoot Hoot, Comfey, and Red Florgus. There's one Vivian that flies close to the Neo 1 and does a loop in the air. Make sure to snap a photo of that one if you can. Pichu and Grookey are best buds and like to hang out together at the beginning of the map. You can snap a quick photo of either one of them, but it's best to do it when they're together for extra points. Wurmple can be found both on the ground near the grass and hanging on the tree to your left. Emolga is a bit hidden when you're on research level 1. It's up in the tree right by the charred nuts. Once you get close, he'll fly off. When you round the bend, there's a little lake with Swana hanging out. However, you can get a better snap if you check in the sky. There's a flock of Swana flying around and they should swing past you twice. There's a little group of Taylo on the ground here and Magikarp floating around in the lake on the right. Hoot Hoot is a little bit hidden right now. He's up in the tree sleeping with his legs sticking out. It's a bit weird but you can grab an easy photo of him right now. Comfey are chilling around the flower field right at the end alongside the red Florgus. As you get close, it'll wave at you. It's important to grab this one now as it's going to change colors once you level up your research level. Level 2 in the daytime will bring a few differences in both the Pokemon and the behavior. First off, you're going to get three new Pokemon. Bufalant, Ducklet, and now Orange Florgus. Bufalant can be found right at the beginning of the course in mass, but there's a special one right at the end. He's wearing a flower crown on one of his sides and you should absolutely take a photo of that because it's really really cute. Ducklet is pretty easy to find, it's just with the Swanners that you found before. And finally, the red Florgus from before is now either the orange or the yellow variant and its actions may change. Once you grind it up to level 3, you now get to see Scorbunny, Pidgeot, and Heracross in the day. The Florgus at the end is now the blue variant and there's a special garden pattern Vivian. To find that special Vivian, just turn around as you pass the table sign. It's going to follow you all the way into the flower field. You can also find Shaman on this level sleeping in the flowers. If you get Scorbunny, Pichu, and Grookey to the end of the course, you can get a shot with those three and Shaman, but you need to throw an Illumina Orb into the Crystal Bloom. When you step into the dark of night, you're going to find a whole slew of other Pokemon you couldn't find normally. On Research Level 1, you can find Scorbunny, Bidoof, Bufalant, Pidgeot, Tangrowth, Caterpie, Murkrow, Pinsir, Torterra, Swanna, Ducklet, Pichu, Grookey, Hoot Hoot, and Combi. Score Bunny is going to be the most active one and will be running around a lot from the start and following the Neo 1 through most of the level. You're going to have a lot of opportunities to snap a shot of him and sometimes he's even going to be behind you. Bidoof is pretty normal here so there's not much to say about the God of Pokemon and the God of Memes. The Bufalant will be asleep, but you are able to wake them if you have the Fluff Fruit or the Illumina Orb items. Tangrowth is sleeping just a bit past the Bufalant. Wake it up with some Fluff Fruit for a surprise reaction. Caterpie are hanging out on the ground. Keep an eye on those guys as they stand up and curl back, which is their 4 star behavior. Make sure to grab a photo of that moment. Murkrow don't like to sit in one place for too long, so be careful not to scan or throw anything towards them. They'll fly off if you do. Right next to the Crystal Bloom, you'll find a hole you can scan. Keep that in mind for level 2. It's going to have a pincer. However, there is a pincer later on in the course, so it doesn't matter right now, but you do want to come back to this in level 2. You'll find a group of Torterra sleeping near the lake, but if you wait a bit, you'll have two more opportunities for better photos. The next one is a sleeping Torterra with the Pichu and Grookey from the daytime stage. It's super adorable and you should just snap a photo of that for fun. However, in the flower field, you'll find one Torterra that's up and about next to a sleeping Torterra with Score Bunny on its back. The Swanna and Ducklets are just sleeping by the lake. You can get better pictures of them during the day, but you should get one picture of them here as the night version does count as a different course. Pidgeot will land in the middle of the path and you can startle it for a moment with the scan to get it to look at you. Or you can use the Fluff Fruit to give it a treat. 
Pichu and Grookey are sleeping by that Torterra that we mentioned earlier. Hoot Hoot is finally awake and you'll find one sitting on the sign, where Taylor was during the day. And there are some Combi flying around in the flower field. You can go ahead and snap a picture of them here, or right before you enter the flower field, turn around and you'll see two Combi flying near you. Research level 2 in the natural park at night has five new Pokemon that you can snap photos of. Dodrio, Heracross, Sylveon, Magikarp, and Vespaquin. Dodrio is to the left when you start the course. Snap a picture of that guy and be on your way. But come on back when you get the Melody item as you'll be able to get the 4 star picture then. Now on the right side when you start the course, you'll see Score Bunny on the sign. Grab a picture of him dancing for a 3 star photo. If you have the Illumina orbs, you can throw one at him and get the 4 star photo for him. You'll also find Pidgeot in the grass near the sign. Feed him once with a fluff fruit and then again by the lake. If you do that, you'll get his 4 star behavior in the flower field at the end. At the lake, you'll find three Bidoof swimming in a line. If you snap that, you get a three star Bidoof photo. The Magikarp is sleeping on a rock at the lake. You can wake it up for a surprise photo by tossing some fluff fruit at it. Sylveon is actually the same kind of thing. It's sleeping next to the Torterra where Pichu and Grookey were before. Throw some fruit at it for a fun picture. Heracross is a bit difficult to get. You need to scan the dirt pile near the Crystal Bloom and then throw an Illumina Ball at the pile to wake up Pinsir. Then scan a couple of times to get Heracross to drop down. You'll get some good pictures of it here and then a 4 star picture after the Bidoof Dam where both Heracross and Pinsir will be fighting. Vespaquin requires the Illumina Orbs, but once you have those, head to the flower field at the end of the course. Throw some Illumina Orbs at the Crystal Blooms, and out pops Vespaquin. It'll dance around with the Combi, and if you get a photo of both of them, you'll finish two requests. That's all for me today. Hope this helps you out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye